some of life's greatest adventures start as nothing more than an idea. The Harley-Davidson trike, a three-wheeled motorcycle with all the power, strength, and performance expected from Harley-Davidson. Trikes mix the rich traditions of the Harley-Davidson service bikes, used by law enforcement, government, military, and business, with the styling and ride defined by Harley-Davidson. With a Harley-Davidson trike, the legend rolls on. Powered by the performance and durability of an authentic Harley-Davidson engine, and typically equipped with a generous fuel tank, cruise control, a reverse, a best-in-class infotainment system, and spacious storage, the trike has everything you need for long-haul comfort, capacity, and ultimate rider function. With the trike motorcycle, you'll enjoy the comfort of riding a powerful, leading-edge machine, a chassis designed specifically for three wheels by Harley-Davidson. Some aspects of the trike may be familiar to veteran riders, while others are different. That is why all riders should understand how a trike operates before hitting the road. For starters, the trike motorcycle is equipped with a reverse. Operating this feature is easy. Make sure the bike is in neutral with the engine running. Push the reverse button located in the left-hand controls. A light in the tachometer indicates that the reverse is enabled. Press and hold the reverse button. The motorcycle will continue moving in reverse as long as the reverse button is held down. If braking is required while in reverse, release the reverse button and apply brakes appropriately. Otherwise, the reverse will automatically turn off when you power the motorcycle down or put it into gear. Consult your owner's manual for proper reverse operation. It's important to note that the reverse motor is designed for light or brief reverse operation only. Using it to maneuver very steep inclines or for long distance travel in reverse will drain the battery and may trip the circuit breaker and is therefore not recommended. The trike's three-track orientation makes it wider than a two-wheeled motorcycle. It may take some time to develop spatial awareness of your trike's rear wheels. You'll need to learn where to position your trike in tight spaces and on the highway. The middle of a lane is generally the best, giving you a cushion on each side for turns and corners. To gain the riding confidence you'll want, practice on quiet roads and empty parking lots. We also recommend a three-wheeled training course this professional training will help make your experience riding a trike motorcycle even better. Let's see how trike riding compares with two-wheeled riding. Veteran riders know that at speed, to get a two-wheeled motorcycle to turn, you simply push the handlebar in the direction of your turn. If turning right at speed, push the handlebar with your right hand to go right. Similarly, push left to go left. This is commonly referred to as counter-steering. But three-wheeled motorcycles are a different breed. You steer a three-wheeled motorcycle by pulling on the handlebar. Pull left, go left, pull right, go right. Or in simpler terms, turn the front wheel in the direction of the turn required. Cornering a trike requires more effort than a two-wheeled motorcycle. It's similar to steering a snowmobile or an ATV. So be prepared to exert more effort to turn your trike motorcycle. Likewise, a trike's center of gravity differs from a two-wheeled motorcycle. There's no balance requirement, which makes a big difference in the way a three-wheeled motorcycle handles when turning a corner. As you corner on a two-wheeled motorcycle, leaning into the turn, inertia pushes you into the seat. As you corner on a three-wheeled motorcycle, inertia will pull you towards the outside of the turn because you and the bike are upright, the same as in your car. Roadway obstacles are also a part of day-to-day -day motorcycle riding. Since the trike lays down three tracks, you might not be able to avoid roadway obstacles as easily as on a two-wheeled motorcycle. If you see that you're going to cross an obstacle with one or more wheels, downshift and slow down if possible. Tap the brakes so other drivers are aware that you are slowing. Try to cross the obstacle in a straight line, rising off the seat slightly to avoid taking the full impact. 
Slightly roll on the throttle just before the front wheel makes contact, then roll off before the rear tires cross. A three-wheel training course can give you comprehensive instruction on how to handle obstacles while riding a trike. Now, let's talk about brakes. Like all motorcycles, the trike's front brake is controlled by the right hand lever, while the rear brake is controlled by the right foot pedal. But unlike two-wheel systems, the trike has a hydraulically linked brake system. This system links the rear brake to the front. It allows you to use the rear brake pedal to apply both the front and rear brakes. But when you apply the front brake lever, the system applies the front brakes only and does not apply the rear brake. The front brake remains independent. Keep in mind that although the rear brake pedal engages both the front and rear brakes, you should use the front brake lever to apply the full braking action for the front brakes. Braking is always most effective when you're traveling in a straight line, especially on a two-wheeled motorcycle. While you'd avoid applying brakes during a turn on a two-wheeler, because the trike is upright, you have the flexibility to apply brakes while turning or cornering. And with the trike's hydraulically linked system, you gain the advantage of brake responsiveness when applying the rear brake pedal because both front and rear brakes are engaged simultaneously. For optimum stopping power, remember to apply the front brake lever even while applying the brake pedal at the same time. In fact, the best way to achieve maximum braking is to apply both brakes smoothly without locking a wheel. Remember, look straight ahead and keep your body centered while applying the brakes. Also, when a two-wheeled motorcycle comes to a complete stop, the rider moves his foot from the foot pegs, or footboard, to the ground. With the trike model, both feet remain on the footboards. Again, taking a training course on three-wheeled riding can give you more confidence in driving, braking, and enjoying your trike. The trike motorcycle is also typically equipped with a foot-operated parking brake. While this is not an emergency brake, the parking brake provides confidence that the bike will not move once parked. After parking, turn off your motorcycle, put it in first gear, and apply the parking brake by stepping down on the foot brake, located near your left foot. A gauge light indicates that your parking brake is applied. To release the brake, push down on the foot brake again. Note that the light on the tachometer will go out. Always check that the indicator light is off before riding again. Consult your owner's manual for proper parking brake operation, adjustment, and testing. The Harley-Davidson Trike Motorcycle. Built from the ground up and backed by a two-year manufacturer's warranty. So go ahead, start practicing. Take the professional training offered near you. And when you're ready to hit the highway, the Harley-Davidson Trike. Don't let anything stand between you and your next adventure.